Hey, 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 this is part three of get to know me and get to know the personality behind the, the behind the channel series. This is part three. If you haven't watched part one and two, please do well to go back to watch them. And this is a good time to like this video and subscribe if you have not already. And let's do this. So in this aspect of the video, I'm going to tell you more about my education, my training, you know, and um, things are, you know, in that sense in things about our entertainment, how I have fun and all of that. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so here is asking, where did you go to college? I think I mentioned it in part one briefly. I went to college in two schools. One was called Community Girls Secondary School, which was just close to my house. Um, after my JSS three, which was um, grade, um, grade nine, I moved on to Federal Government Girls College in Calabar, Cross River State, where I did my SSCE and passed in flying colors. <laughs> what did you major in? In university. Oh, college. <laughs> you guys know that I'm Nigerian, right? I just realized when I saw what did you major in, I just realized that, oh, college meant university. <laughs> okay, so I went to Imo State University in Oweri. In Nigeria. So what did I major in? I majored in English and Literary Studies. That was what I studied in my first degree. What type of students were you in high school? I was very quiet. That was my secondary school I was very quiet. I was very intelligent, had, you know, just a few friends, cordial. I was just the girl that always stays out of trouble, you know. Um, what subject interested you the most in school? Literature in English, English, biology and the rest, but English and literature are my best subjects. Why do you think I went to the university to study? By the way, it wasn't that easy. Before I got my, my father to allow me in particular to study it, it was hell, <laughs> but I had to, yeah. Um, what's the most interesting class you've ever taken? most interesting class I've ever taken. Oh my God, I've taught in different kind of schools. I did my NYS teaching English and Literature in Federal Government College, Sokoto. I had fun at it. I have taught blogging courses, webinars, paid courses. I love, love, loved it. I have taught, oh my God, I have an online course, you know, I'll link, leave the link in the comment section, in the description rather. I love it. I think I love teaching it all. So taking courses and being interested in them is just my thing. I must have fun if I'm going to teach. Let's leave it at that. Um, how important is your education to you? Uh, education is very important. And education is not just in the walls of the school. I learn every day and I think it's very important. I feel that anybody who doesn't learn every day is half dead without me. Yeah. Um, what do you think needs to change about our current education system a lot? First, curriculum is outdated. We need to stop that. We need to get more people who are in the industries to head the education sector so that they can teach in demand skills and people can get out of school and get doing stuff, stuff with their life, not jettisoning what they have studied because they are now going to grab more, you know, more prevalent um, skills to be able to cope right their curriculum needs to be changed um how do you incorporate learning into your everyday life man i watch youtube videos a lot i read a lot i'm always on my phone i incorporate it easily because i ask a lot of questions if i don't understand something i go to google google is my best friend i wish google was a human being i should have paid you a visit a long time ago and told you how grateful i am google was the reason i started my blogging career in 2009 it taught me everything i knew it got me my first deal as an editor book editor from an international client and all that google is such an amazing tool right thank you for youtube as well google <laughs> okay going to entertainment how what do you watch on television first of all i do not have a television culture at all at all in my house so when i want i watch movies i watch more movies i also follow series but that's in the past i don't have a tv culture at all i do more reading and creating content than i watch tv what is your favorite movie which one is your favorite movie ah, i can't tell i have watched lots of interesting movies but i love movies i love love movies in general i, I love drama I love Tyler Perry as a producer. I love Nigerian movies that are done by intelligent producers. I just love a good love story, you know, yeah. 
I also love Bollywood. I love Three Idiots. Those kind of movies, yeah. If you could have free tickets to any event, what will it be? I would say I want to get invited to every YouTube event internationally. I would like I would like to be part of um, events in the, in the United Nations that has to do with young people and and work skills. Yeah, and then also I want to attend festivals, music and food festivals across the world. A friend of mine in the Netherlands. Uh, have been inviting me to Amsterdam for a long time and I haven't gone. I would like to attend this kind of event and more, more, more. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. What celebrity would I love to meet in real life? What celebrity would I love to meet in real life? I would like to meet Oprah Winfrey. I would like to meet Tyler Perry. I would like to meet uh, Pastor T.D. Jakes. Bishop T.D. Jakes, um, you know, and so many other people, I guess, but those are the three that uh, all, they always come to the front burner of my mind. Okay, going to possessions right now, which is the ending part of this series. What is my most valuable possession? My most valuable, I would say my children, like, hmm, is it my children? I think so. Or my brain. I don't know what it is, but my brain. I'm not such a. I'm not so big on materialistic things. I'll get there. I'm okay, but <laughs> I can't tell when it comes to materialities what is my biggest possession. I can't. I can't do without most of the things I have right now, because I actually when I moved cities, I have more. I have a lot of material things that I have bought that are somewhere I haven't gotten in them, I haven't gone to pick them, I haven't asked for them to be brought. I just, I just created a new home for myself. So I think I can do without many things. Well, yeah. How often do you shop for new things? Now things, if they are like clothes, shoes, I'll say once or twice in a year. Mm. For now, because raising children is tough. <laughs> but for foodstuffs and stuff every day every day how easy is it for you to get rid of old possessions very easy see guys i had a, a, a life i was comfortable as a single woman i had all the tv radio all of those you know kitchen utensils blender microwave all of those gas all of you know refrigerator all of those bed um a funny person decided that he wanted to punish me when I needed to go take them. And till date, I haven't mentioned it. I left it and built a new home, right? The only thing that I could get, which my brothers helped me get, was my clothes, and that's how I left it. I haven't gotten anything from my singlehood into my married home till now. And that was when I knew that I could do without a lot of things, right? <laughs> um, what possessions fill you with joy? Possessions fill me with joy. My family, guys, my family, if they are supposed to be family, like human beings, I think my family gives me joy. Yeah, and the fact that I have my brain, I can always create. I'm a great content producer. I can create some, a concept out of nothing as long as you add value to people and I sell it and I make money and people are grateful for the result. I share my knowledge. That's one of my biggest possessions, okay? Mm, if you were given $1,000 gift card, what store would you want it to be for? <laughs> um, I'm not very, very, very huge on shopping yet. I haven't been to most stores like Happy People Mission Store. I only have gone to Next, Cash and Carry, which is a hypermarket in Nigeria. I've gone to Spa, I've gone to ShopRite, I've gone to all of those shops in the malls. I don't know their names now. Okay, but I've gone to. So I can't even remember the name of all those stores that you typically have in a typical mall in Nigeria. There are lots of them, but I don't pay attention to them, you know. Um, Market Square, is Market Square, you know, many other ones like that. Okay, if you could only eat at one restaurant for the rest of your life, what will it be? <laughs> Which restaurants have I eaten in that I want to eat for forever? I have a restaurant I used to make orders for salad. You know, back in Abuja, I can't even remember their name now. Maple, Maple Box, uh, yes, Maple Box. 
maybe because of their kind of meals i love salad and chicken meals i love 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 them so maybe yeah i can eat salads for the rest of the day for the rest of my life actually with you know healthy smoothies and rest yes you know but i can add pepper to some of the recipes <laughs> okay what is something about your personality that you like i like the fact that i am very optimistic let me put it like that i can't something can weigh me down i can go through very tough times but you might think i'll wait on my sleeve it might show on my outlook but in my head there are bigger plans you'll be shocked that i see how big plans in spite of what i've been through i like that about me and i think i acquired it i wasn't always like that um what about myself don't i like i like the fact that i'm and i don't like the fact rather that i am not such a an outgoing person like i'm not such a doer I don't know how to explain it. Like I'm not somebody who the hook and sell is and say, okay, I think I need to go to Lagos. I need to close this deal. I need to meet this bank for this thing. I need to get a sponsorship. You know, I'll plan it. I will orchestrate it by using my platform. But I'm not very good with legwork. I think that's the idea. Please, you guys should not mind the noise. Um, but the testosterone and AC around me. What would your friends be surprised to learn about you? Ah, my friends will be surprised to know that I actually have them in mind. A Nigerian musician just released a song. Um, what's his name now? I keep forgetting people. Johnny Drill just released a song. How are you? That song actually tells how I really feel about my friends. Like I wish my friends know that I am. I have them in mind, especially when it comes to money. I want that my friends are in need and that they can depend on me to give them money, not even loan them to give them for real. And I want to be that wealthy. So my friends will be surprised that I have them in mind and I actually are uh, very, very, very concerned about their welfare. Yeah. So with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching and I'm going to bring you more exciting videos on the money topics that we have here and more. Okay. See you in the next video. Bye.